بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم ایم ورکنگ از ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز دس از دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف آور ٹیرا فارم ای سی ایس سروس ڈسکوری اینڈ وی آر یوزنگ دا لیٹسٹ سروس پرووائڈیڈ بائی اے ڈبلیو ایس وچ از دی ای سی ایس سروس کنیکٹ سو گائز اف یو واچ دیٹ پرٹیکولر ویڈیو آئی کوڈ ڈیٹیل ان دیٹ پریویس ویڈیو which is the, this video and this part is going to be very short uh, but if you watch that particular video i've uh, done the debugging stuff uh, fix some issues and show you what issues you faced so in this video uh, we are going to simply fix the issue uh, we have faced in our last part and this is going to be the final part regarding that uh, terraform ecs service connect right So guys, uh, previously we find that we have issue, our service was not healthy and uh, there was issue. So what I'm going to do first of all, uh, okay, let me start with the target group. So you see our service is now healthy. I end up the, the video uh, because the length of the video is too long and I need to create a second part of that. So in this part i'm going to show you how we have actually takes the issue and what we need to do so if i navigate to the security group section if you watch that particular video the first video i've covered all the detail regarding that so we are using the default security security group right guys so this is our uh, default security group right so uh in this security group let me show you this part we have inbound and outbound rules uh, regarding the outbound rule i covered the acc uh, sorry ssm uh, we have done that right so regarding the inbound what we have done here uh, we need to allow the redis port which is going to be the internal port uh, for in order to connect with redis we have set up the redis server but what we have not done at that time we have not actually uh, allowed the port 679 So uh, this is what we need to do. Redis uh, port allowed. Let me update. And also uh, you need to make sure you should update this part. And also um, this we added. I already covered that. So this is my personal uh, IP. You know to debug. I've added my personal IP here. So if you watch that particular video, I've covered all that stuff. So uh, this load balancer, sorry, uh, this security group is regarding the load balancer. So allowed ELB to access our Python, Python front end app. So guys, this part is done, right? So that part is fixed, right? And the changes, uh, we need to do regarding that code so guys if you use service connect you don't need to use this particular command previously we use this particular command and i've uh, shown you uh, the issue and i need to tell you that the issue we are facing uh, that we are using uh, the aws service connect connect along with the aws service discovery So I do recommend not to use both service at the same time, although there is option. So AW Service Connect is the latest enhanced optimized service. So you should simply use that and simply I, you need to do Terraform apply, uh, Terraform init and Terraform apply, right? So this part is done, right? And you don't need to use this particular commands. So what I need to show you uh, regarding that you don't uh, uh, i mean you have to only make changes for instance if you navigate to the ec services right guys you need to make sure you watch the first part um, till end and uh, cover the lab which i have covered so simply you need to update the locals these are the variables right and also you need to add um, in just a minute you need to add the namespace which we have uh, created through cli 
uh, sorry, this part here. So this part we have done through CLI, you need to add the ARN at the namespace, which we have done, uh, which we have created through AWS CLI. And this is the namespace and this is the namespace ID, that's it. And you need to update the locals um, according to your, uh, you know, image and all this stuff, right? So this part is done. You have to simply do, once you update, you have to do Terraform in it and Terraform apply. As I discussed previously, you need to like uh, add the secrets in the SSM store. These uh, I've shown you uh, to create through AWS CLI, uh, secure secret string, which we are going to use and naked uh, environment variables. So this is what we have used in order to connect with our service pipe. Uh, and one last thing before I and just wrap it, wrap it up uh, regarding the Terraform. So I need to show you the part. So if I do control up connect. So guys, this is the connect configuration. So simply um, what you need to do, um, I mean, you don't have to do a manual changes. So uh, we have to enable the service, which we have, uh, I have already done that. And the namespace, which we uh, already defined in our locals. And the discovery name is going to be the container name, code name, and all that stuff, which we need is already available here, right? So if you want to see the detail regarding that, I already covered in detail in the first part. Definitely, I'm not going to cover this. So this is the container template. And this is the port name uh, which we have used. So similar stuff uh, we have done in the Redis, right? So uh, okay, this part is the regarding the target group. And if I navigate to the uh, load balancer, what I'm going to do, guys? So I'm going to copy the uh, copy the DNS name of this uh, load balancer. Okay, so yeah, this is the one. So I'm going to update my DNS. So if I navigate to this section, this is the Python dash app. I already told you or shown you in first part, the rule we have added through our Terraform code regarding that and shortly is going to be uh, propagated. Right, and uh, okay, let me open another tab and I'm going to simply type Python dash app dot cyclane mushtaq uh, sorry mushtaq dot com so you see our python application is available and it is showing the numbers of hits so if i do refresh it will be automatically refresh and also the application load balancer is sending requests to this guy and it is uh, it will be if i refresh it shortly it uh, it is going to be updated so anyways guys uh, if i navigate to this log section these are the logs regarding the python application so you see this is the python application health status right so guys in past we use the service discovery so uh, what service discovery does it created a a record uh, in the private hosted zone but uh, this will not create any uh, stuff regarding uh, that, but you will see additional uh, requests and see um, the status regarding the, you know, latency and all that metrics uh, you're looking for uh, previously, which was, uh, you know, uh, not available. You can easily um, through watch through this um, uh, health metrics, right? So uh, if I navigate to the namespaces uh, and click this namespace ID, uh, you will see that two services are registered and both are active. Previously, we have issue in this Python application and uh, we have debugged it and uh, added the security group. Along with that, we updated the Terraform code, which I've already discussed with you guys. So, okay. Uh, I think regarding that uh, let me show you the stuff in the cluster so let me um, before we wrap up so if i navigate to uh, simply cluster we have two services uh, in this ecs uh, cluster python app python app has a dependency of redis and it is going to connect with the redis right so if the redis goes down our application is going to be failed so 
if I uh, do a refresh here, you see currently uh, service discovery is happening internally. And uh, one thing I need to tell you that I've also added um, the you know uh, public IP to uh, those tasks. So and also launch these tasks in uh, public subnets. You should not uh, use that stuff in your production environment. I mean, I use the private subnet and um, allow the public IP to set to false. So detail regarding that, as I discussed already, is available in the first part. You need to watch the first part till end. Mm, and OK, let me, okay, uh, let me show you this uh, part regarding the task we have both tasks running so these tasks are actually regarding the redis and python so if i click the python app and click the task you see this task is running and if you want to see the logs regarding that logs are going to be populated and uh, advanced configuration network uh, regarding the networking as i discussed uh, if i um, if i scroll it down this is the security group attached to this particular task and uh, and uh, okay so you see this is service connect it is, it is turned on this is the namespace it is in and this is the discovery name you can uh, connect to this uh, through uh, i mean uh, like uh, uh, this way uh, as i mentioned so you can do uh, additional stuff i mean um, by enabling in the terraform code you want to do advanced setting and blocking all this stuff you can uh, do that and okay i think regarding this task uh, okay uh, let me show you one part uh, regarding uh, let me show you this part right so as i discussed this task is launched in the uh, public subnet so if i scroll it down you see and i've enabled the public ip so if I scroll it down, what I have done, I've uh, enabled the 5000 port uh, on my uh, uh, on my home IP. So if I simply type this public IP, I should be able to get my application without the load balancer, right? So uh, this is I done, guys, just to show you the debugging stuff. You see, I'm still able to access it, and um, Let's try to simply uh, make one of the service fail. And let's try to update the service and uh, add the number of tasks to zero. See what's happened if the service discovery is not there. Because if the service is down, definitely uh, it will not be able to find that particular service. So, okay, um, minimum task uh, because of the service discovery and uh, i set up the auto scaling as well so let me update that part so uh, shortly uh, we should not be able to see the service you see currently it is on https it is working fine but shortly it should be uh, not available currently it is working fine you see number of bits is increasing and if i navigate to um, the load balancer section in the target groups and the health of this gonna be uh, you know, shortly is going to be uh, tail, but it will take some time because uh, you see, if I navigate to the service regarding the Redis, and you see deployments, so you will see uh, shortly it is going to be uh, you know uh, unavailable. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply see. Okay, no task is there, so let's try to refresh it. You see. This is the exception we were getting previously. So previously, this was the error we were getting. So uh, I mean, uh, we have not uh, uh, enabled the security group, and uh, our we have actually doing the stuff that we have added um, the additional service discovery in our uh, Terraform along with the EC service connect as well. So that is fixed. So guys. Uh, if I navigate to this section, uh, okay, it will take some time uh, regarding the health checks. So we need to wait for a while. You see, now it is unhealthy. And if I navigate to my, um, okay, this is 
in the IP. So let me get rid of this guys, which we have already covered. So let me remove this section. Okay, so this is Python application and you see it is now throwing that exception, right? So, uh, okay, and the other thing, let me close the stuff which we have covered. Okay, okay. Okay, security group we have done, target group we have done. I think, I think uh, I need to show you NP in the route 53. As I discussed, uh, it is, uh, we have created the, uh, you know, um, uh, I mean, cloud map hosted zone, which is the private hosted zone, but you will not see any error part here previously. If you watched my previous video regarding the uh, ECS, let me click on this and then I get to this section, right? So if I do type uh, ECS, so you will see stuff regarding that. So in this particular video I've covered and uh, it was actually one year ago. So we are now using the latest stuff, uh, which is the ECS Service Connect, right? It has a lot more, uh, you know, uh, option regarding the latency and, you know, uh, retries, limit and all the stuff, more functionality as compared to that. Uh, that service discovery just, uh, was a simple, you know, um, you know, uh, DNS lookup like uh, DNS resolution service. It is actually has very low capability as compared to this ECS service connect. So that is it, guys. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.